Alright, I know this is pretty unconventional for me. I would not do two videos on the same topic, but man, all the anger is starting to kick in, bro. All the fucking anger that, like, I wanted to say in that last video, oh, you guys are getting it. So if you felt that that video was kind of somber, fuck it, man, we doing it live right here. Can we talk about this company, Atlas? Can we talk about Atlas, the company that announced Persona 5 when I was in fucking grade school? Atlas, the company that hasn't been working on a main fucking console game since goddamn Catherine, which is like, what, over four years ago? Atlas, the company that don't know shit about seasons. Atlas, do you know what a fucking season is? Why are you announcing Persona 5's release date three years out and the game ain't even ready yet? Can, can we just talk about this for a second? Can we talk about the fact that Atlas said that Persona 5 was coming out in winter 2014? Listen, it's one thing to say, oh shit, I think that was my brother right there. I think he was walking from home from school. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, yo, can we talk about the fact that Atlas announced the game in winter 2014 and shit, it is about to hit the calendar date for winter and they fucking delay that shit. We hear nothing about Persona 5 up until that damn trailer two years ago. And then they like, yo, um... Yeah, about that winter 2014 release date, shit, homie, it's coming out in 2015, right? So we're waiting, we're waiting. We hear literally nothing about Persona 5 because, you know, these guys are hard at work, man. Then we get to summer 2015, and these motherfuckers, again, by the calendar date, what would be considered the end of summer? Yo, it's with a heavy burden on our soul that we're delaying Persona 5. Nigga, again? What, what game needs two fucking years delay? Yo, man, this is crazy. And then we get to summer 2016, right? And okay, we're getting close to the end of the calendar year, all right? So what do they say? Yo, Persona 5 is coming out September in Japan. Yo, we lit. Localization. Now, nah, fuck y'all. Y'all getting that shit next year, yo. Y'all want a summer in February? Oh, you about to get it, man. You about to fucking get it. Nah, man, we ain't about to get shit, man. You know who's about to get it? Atlas about to catch this work right here. This motherfucking company, Atlas, right? This company that, again, mind you, already released Persona 5. And I don't care what y'all foo-foo-ass people go and say. Like, oh, Atlas, they don't have a lot of people working on a game. They ain't a big budget studio. Nigga, they working on this shit for over five years. Nigga, do you know how many games we've had in the span of five fucking years? <laughs> like, do y'all not understand this? Do y'all not understand this? In the span of fucking five years, it's taken him to work on this shit and delay it and delay it and delay it. We've had so many fucking games come out. We've had so many fucking franchises start and die in the span of five years. Like, knock it the fuck off, Atlas. Either announce a game when you're ready. Like, listen, I don't buy the fact that you had to delay the game years and years for you to say it's not ready. I understand delays. I get it. Before one of you yes apologists come in here and say, well, a delay a game will be good. A bad game is bad forever. Like, knock it the fuck off. Y'all, y'all should know you got to take it on a game by game basis. Not every game delay is going to give us something like Uncharted 4 or The Witcher 3. You know what I'm saying? We still got some foo-foo games that got delayed and they still end up like ass, man. Fucking Star Fox Zero on the Wii U. That game got delayed. That game was ass, man. There are plenty of games this generation that got delayed that were ass, man. It's depressing. So, knock it the fuck off with that shit, especially when the game is already done, right? Why are they delaying it out of February? Let's look at this shit, all right? Some people are saying that, oh, it's because they want to add in fucking fufu-ass Japanese voiceover DLCs. Motherfucker, I do not... If you don't speak the fucking language, you should not be over here hyping up a two-month delay. That shit could have been DLC. You want to know why it could have been DLC? Because Naruto, the goddamn Rise of a Ninja on Xbox 360 in 2007 got Japanese voiceover pack DLC. Fucking Tomb Raider got Japanese voiceover pack DLC in Japan. Right? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I seriously don't. Now, I hear them saying that they're trying to perfect the English dub and everything, and that's cool. I understand that. How fucking long are they working on this dub? Motherfucking Funimation will dub a damn series in one week. That's how fast they be working. But Alice over here, like, oh, no, no, no. We need, like, nine, ten months, maybe, because we could be dubbing new scenes. What new scenes, nigga? I just, I don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> I know I'm being stupid as all hell, but I just, I don't get it. And then you got people saying that, well, it might be due to the voice actor strike. I don't know shit about no voice actor strike like that. I know there's one going on, but I don't think Persona 5's affected by it. I mean, I don't know, man, but still. Well, what else is the other reason? Oh, they got competition in February. Motherfucker, do y'all know not... Do y'all underestimate the power of Persona 5? This game in Japan broke so many fucking records on its first day. And do y'all not understand how huge Persona is outside Japan? Persona 5 is the... Persona 4, Golden, is the sole reason why the Vita is still selling as abysmal as it's selling. I love the damn thing. But when you see Persona 4 is always topping those charts, I think there's a reason. I think people like it. And when I, they've got to know. They've got to know that people were looking forward to this damn game. Like, seriously. Like, I don't buy that competition. What was their competition in fucking February? Horizon Zero Dawn. A brand new IP in a completely different genre. Uh, what else is coming out in February? Uh, Nier? Does that come out in February? Nier. It's a Platinum Games title. That ain't lighting the world on fire. Let, let's be serious here. What else? Uh, Berserk? Does that come out in February? I don't know. But I still don't get it, man. It's, it's fucking weird. Man, the Weeaboos won. The Weeaboos, I need my waifu laifu in Japanese or else I ain't gonna buy this game. Y'all motherfuckers are some of the f most fickle individuals I have ever seen in my life. Y'all ain't gonna buy a damn great video game over some voiceovers in a language you don't speak. Boy, if you do not get your old, oh, oh konnichiwa, daisuke da, so y'all over here pretending you know Japanese, you in a damn Japanese, like, I just, I hate these niggas because I had all these niggas in my damn high school, man. These people were in the damn anime club. No, they were in the Japanese culture club and all they wanted to do was watch anime. Oh my God, you weebs. Like, seriously, I love anime as much as the next guy, but I ain't over here in a damn Japanese culture club trying to watch anime 24-7. Like, y'all, 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 y'all need to get some deodorant. That's all I'm going to say, because when I be going to these damn anime conventions, boy, let me stop right now. I am just seriously having too much fun with this. Yo, if y'all enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comment section. And obviously, this is all just for fun. I'm still getting the game day one. Fucking Atlas, I love you. Y'all are awesome. Except with your fufu ass. I do not know the concept of damn seasons. Anyways, I will uh, talk to y'all later. Have a good one. I'm surprised they did not get pulled over.